Mes amis, je vous assure que le temps est bien dur. Il faut pas se décourager. Ça va bien vite commencer. De l'ouvrage, il va en avoir pour tout le monde cet hiver. Il faut bien donner le temps au nouveau gouvernement. So I interviewed a, a range of people. We talked to everyone from a musicologist who is an expert on an organ, a huge big old organ in Oshalaga, to someone who runs a cafe that used to do like punk shows in Oshalaga. So yeah, we tried to get kind of a range of things, but the theme that kind of came out of that is that you know, gentrification is hurting the neighborhood. So it was even a little hard to find these people. Gentrification, looking at it through the music angle, really allows us to like hone in on just how how hard it is and how how much communities are suffering. It it really gets at like the core of what we lose when gentrification happens, and just when like the cost of living goes up everywhere. And the core is that like the life of a city dies, the life of a neighborhood is slowly suffocated. One way that people can fight to keep the spirit alive and keep music alive is just to, especially working class people, as they, they'll fight back. They'll have, you know, protests, and and I think that's that's the way that Hochelaga has been able to stay the way that it is and keep a bit of its original essence. The series, all together, like looking at it as one big. Piece. I think it will be such a great look at the city of Montreal, especially at this point in time. It's a good time to look at gentrification and like the way that the city's changing because it feels like this year and maybe like the past two or three years, things have been really rapidly like speeding up in terms of how expensive things have been getting. So I think that it, it's really good to just capture this moment in time. And also something that I tried to do with my episode is kind of go back in time. So talk a little bit about a bit about the history of the neighborhood. And so I'm really excited to see, you know, learn more about the history of other neighborhoods in Montreal and see it all come together. And I think this will just be a lovely resource for people to listen to, to get to know the music scene a bit more, and maybe even to like infuse a bit of that life that has been missing lately. I think like a lot of CJ Lowe's listeners, like Concordia students, will be in the same boat, you know, not knowing very much about Hochelaga probably. So I think it's it's good to come with a, you know, a perspective where you know, don't know much and you, this could be your first step in discovering more. And then the next step is going to Hochelaga and seeing a show. Ils sont bien gras dans les petits restos chic et s'essuient les doigts dans une serviette de soie pour leur image publique qui ferait n'importe quoi. De l'autre côté, dans le même quartier, des gens travaillent temps plein dans des emplois affreux pour des salaires de crève-faim. Le père de l'autre de cette famille de pauvres. 